Hello everyone, this is Abhinav from PhoneBunch and today we'll be benchmarking the Google Nexus 5. The phone features a 4.95 inch 1080p display. There's an earpiece up top which is white in color and you have some sensors and the front facing camera right there. At the bottom you have LED for notifications. Moving over to the left of the device, you can see that it's a bit glossy but the volume rocker here is very sturdy. Similarly on the right, you have the SIM tray and you have the power lock and lock button as well. At the back, you have the 8 megapixel camera with optical image stabilization, the Nexus logo. The back has a very nice matte finish to it and feels really good to hold. At the top, you have the secondary noise cancellation microphone as well as the 3.5mm headphone jack. At the bottom of the device, you have the micro USB dedicated charging port as well as the loudspeaker. Here's a Google Now integration into the launcher. OK Google. What's the time right now? The time is 2.31 p.m. Google Now is deeply integrated into Android 4.4 KitKat and it's mostly just a swipe or just an OK Google away. Now let's get into the benchmarking review. First we will take a look at the hardware information. You can see the model name, it's the Nexus 5 and runs on the Qualcomm MSM 8974 chipset. It's a new chipset and you can see that the resolution of the display is 1080 into 1776 due to the bottom bar which takes some some space. It's a quad core CPU which runs at about 2.3 gigahertz which you can see from right there and it features the new Adreno 330 GPU from Qualcomm. So there's two GPU of RAM out of which about 1855 MB is available to the system and at present one GB is available. So the phone has an 8 megapixel camera which can record up to 1920 into 1080p in video at 30 frames per second. You also have a 1.2 MP front facing camera which can record about 720p video that too at 30 frames per second. The phone has a lithium polymer 2300mAh battery which is slated to last 17 hours on a single charge. There are a plethora of sensors on the phone including a gyroscope. You can see that the proximity sensor and the light sensor are working. Just have a look at all the sensors this phone has. If you want to download this app, the link is in the description of this video. It's called Droid Info. Moving on, now we'll run the Antutu benchmark. We have fast forwarded the benchmark for quick results. So we got an Antutu score of only 3736, which is acceptable for this device. And it's just a bit below the Samsung Galaxy S4 and the HTC One which have been found to tamper with benchmarking results. Next up we are going to run the quadrant benchmark. Let's submit the score. So we got a quadrant score of 8525. As you can see it's at the top of the pyramid. Next up we are going to run the Nina Mark 2 benchmark to test the Adreno 330 GPU. So we got a score of 59.3 FPS which means game should be easily playable. Now we are running the Velamo benchmark. It's the HTML5 chapter with Sun Spider as well as V8 benchmark suit. So we got a Velamo score of 1477. Let's have a comparison chart going. Let's have a better look. So you can see it lands it above the last year's LG Nexus 4 and below the Samsung Galaxy Grand it's a respectable score. We expected it to be a little better. Now we are going to run the metal chapter of Velamo. It will test the processor of the device. So we got a metal score of 1183 on Velamo. We'll just submit the score to get a comparison chart going. We'll have all these scores as well as comparison on phonebunch.com soon. So it's above the Sony Xperia Z Ultra and below the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. Now we'll run the single thread lint pack. So we've got 122.74 M flops. 
Now let's run the multi-thread benchmark. It's inconsistent. We'll run that again. So we got 319.44 on the multi-thread Linpack test. So now I have eight fingers on the display and two thumbs. And you can see that the phone is able to recognize 10 points of touch at a single go. This time around, the Nexus 5 is not just a carrier of the latest Android version, but in itself, it's one of the most powerful phones available right now. It has a gorgeous 1080p display and it has great build quality to boot. And Google Now is just one swipe or one word away anytime you want to access it. Clearly, KitKat is just paving the way for the future of Android as well as the mobile ecosystem. Well, this was Hub Enough for Phone Bunch. We have lots more in store for you. But till then, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and have a great day.